Welcome everybody to the Scott County Cardinals News Graphic Coaches Show Year 3. Three? Can you believe it's the third year that, uh, that I've been doing this anyway and uh, just happy to be involved with the Scott County Cardinals football program once again as they make another run at the Class 6A Championship. It'll be their last run at the Class 6A Championship as they'll be dropping down to 5A with the creation of a new high school next year. But first things first, it's going to be a great year as they... Uh, chase that goal once again, uh, trying to get back to where they were in 2013 after back-to-back -back trips to the state semifinals. They played North Bullet on Friday night. You may remember that name from last year as the Eagles came to town to Toyota Stadium to start the 2017 season as well. Safe to say, uh, without trying to be mean, it was a laugher. It was 21-0 before the Scott County offense even got the ball as a kick return, a fumble recovery, and a punt return put uh, Cardinals up big early. Running clock took over early as well, and uh, no contest from there. You always kind of want to slide into the season with a game like that. Uh, not what the Cardinals did in the preseason. Let's talk a little bit about that and go back a week, first of all, as uh, Scott County faced Louisville Central last Friday night, and it was at Central High School, uh, at their refurbished stadium, new grass surface there, a big bowl that they play in, uh, 2,000 or so fans from Central. They really approached it like, almost looked like a playoff atmosphere there with a marching band and everything else. It didn't feel like uh, an August night, uh, an exhibition game by any stretch of the imagination. Scott County kind of approached it as such with the... Uh, practice jerseys and just looked like both teams were kind of on a different agenda that night and it did turn out not uh, not necessarily the way a Scott County fan would want on the scoreboard. A 20-20 to 20 tie and it took a, a JV touchdown at the end to give the Cardinals that uh, that tie on the scoreboard. But Coach McKee, as you'll hear later, uh, was, was pretty happy. He got what he wanted done. He kind of had a script going into that game. He wanted to do certain things, see certain things out of uh, some new faces in new places, which we'll get to, and uh, did accomplish that. So uh, a hot night, a tough opponent, an opponent that's going to be good in 3A is Central, and uh, Scott County handled it fairly well as they come back home for the first two weeks. Now, new faces, as we mentioned, on offense especially, going to be at least seven new starters there. What's not new... Brian Hudson at left tackle for the fourth consecutive year. Glenn Covington playing wide out for the fourth consecutive year. Coach McKee in 22 seasons has had four four-year starters, and uh, two of them are on this year's team, and they will start both sides of the ball, offense and defense, and you'll see Covington and Hudson on special teams as well. Hudson is a, a long snapper and Covington as a return man. So busy, busy, busy for those guys, and they are kind of the mainstays on offense. Cade McKee, coach's son, will be taking over at quarterback. And he takes over from a great one in Josh Davis. So there will be a learning curve there, and we'll all have to be patient as you'll see some highs and lows, I'm sure. But uh, some good pieces in place. Fullback Austin Barnett is back. A couple of new halfbacks in Bronson Brown and Philip Garner. We saw uh, McKee airing it out to Garner the other night. We also saw him airing it out to Cade Mullins, who is new at tight end. And that's an important position. It's, it's kind of a... A, a hybrid position in the Scott County wing T offense because you block a lot for the running game, so you're part of the offensive line, but you're also going to catch passes and sometimes long, big play passes, as we saw from Landon Easley the past few years. Cade Mullins stepping into that role. Some new offensive linemen as well. In addition to Mullins, Tyler Sammons, after sitting out last year with an injury, he'll be at center, and the whole right side of the line is new as well. So again, there, there may be some ups and downs with that offense. That being said, Defense looked pretty strong. Eight returning starters. Uh, the keys, of course, Hudson and Christian Carter up front. Uh, Burke Watts, Matt Fannin at linebacker. They're going to uh, do some great things. Teams have found it very hard to run against Scott County for the past couple of years. Last year in particular, and uh, Central didn't really do any better this past Friday night. So it seems like teams will have to target Scott County through the air. When they do that, of course, Covington will be important back there, as well as Peyton Brown, who's stepping in. You may remember him from the offense last year. He'll be moving primarily to free safety, where he'll be taking over that spot from that Cooper Robb held so well for, for a couple of years and, and set the school record with interceptions as a junior a couple of years ago. So the defense, uh, with some old and some new, uh, but certainly primed to, to be the strength of this team, at least early on in the season. The schedule going forward after North Bullet, 
You'll have Lafayette next week at home. That's going to be a late start at 9 o'clock as it will be the second half of a, a doubleheader. It's one of those early season bowl type events. And then they go north two straight weeks to Highlands and to Moeller before coming back to host Cincinnati LaSalle in mid-September. So some tough matchups here early in the season, but we're looking forward to breaking down all of them for you as we go forward into the Coaches Show for 2018. Hope you can join us every week. We talked with Coach Jim McKee, as he is always uh, the loquacious one. You ask him a question and he'll go off and, and probably run in a few different directions, as you'll see in our first interview of the season. Let's see what Coach McKee had to say about his uh, thoughts on the Central game as well as his expectations for the team this season and his thoughts on another game against North Bullet. The Central scrimmage had highs and lows typical of the preseason. You know, I mean, they have a very good team. They were in the uh, semifinals last year. They returned a bunch of kids. Uh, but, I mean, the, I, I mean, it was, I mean, I think you're like any other fan. Because we didn't beat them by three or four touchdowns, you're like, what's going on here? And, uh, you know, I mean, it, first off, the, the goal of where you are with different teams at different times will determine what you're going to approach a lot of times in a scrimmage. For example, if you know you've got a seasoned quarterback, then you have no problem putting him right under distress on the second play if that's what they're giving you as a touchdown. We really just more than anything wanted to get all of our plays run at least once. So rather than necessarily call plays to get first downs or score, you know, we got a we had a play sheet saying, okay, we got a new center, a new right guard, a new right tackle, and a new tight end. We got to have we got to run R28 and L37 and R12 and L11. And you know, we had a couple of plays we got blown up on in the backfield, and you know, it was pretty obvious that we could hand the ball to Barnett and pretty consistently gain yards. But that's not going to be the case every game. And they hit us on a couple long passes, but uh, it was a good game. It was fun. It was awesome. We're going down there next year. The center, the right tackle, the right guard, and the tight end will all be new starters on the Scott County offensive line. And uh, we'll, 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 we'll lock that in by the Lafayette gang. And it'll be five guys and one main sub that's kind of versatile, that can do more than one thing. And, and they, you know, they got to get married, married in as a unit. I mean, it's just like, you know, you and I got to get comfortable if you're playing left tackle and I'm playing left guard, talking about who's got the blitz, who, who doesn't. Even in August, Scott County has long-term preparation in mind for the moves involving Peyton Brown and Cade Mullins. I mean, to be honest with you, you know, I laugh about the, some teams around here will say, well, we, you know, we want to try to play against Scott County and be good. You know, we don't even really think about the teams around here. And I don't mean that in a negative manner. But if we're putting an offense or a defense or kicking game together, we're, we're trying to put it together that good enough to be one of the green teams. And, you know, if, if you can't, if we can't beat the teams around here, you can't beat Trinity St. X anyway. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And uh, so that, that's really just what we're trying to do. And, and, you know, I think Cade's a win at tight end. I think it's a lock. Now, he was out of shape a little bit and a little bit overweight, but he knows it and he's working hard at it and he'll be a lot better. I think the jury's still out on Peyton. Uh, he needed a, he needs another game or two before we'll make a final decision on that. Cade's locked in. McKee has seen only four four-year starters in his 22-year career, and two of them are on this year's team. What kind well, Glenn's a little banged up. We yeah. need to get him to 100%. Uh, and Brian, you know, Brian will tell you, I mean, he was out of shape the other night. He got tired. I mean, he, he did great for the first 15 plays on offense, and then he started negative, positive, positive, negative, negative, positive, negative. And so he started, you know, he started missing some, some scores. So he just got to get in shape. It's tough going both ways, but he'll be able to do it. And then, and, you know, I just think the biggest thing for them is, I mean, I'm just trying to challenge them to raise it up above another notch. And that might not mean Glenn had, catches more touchdowns or Brian has more sacks, but just raise your whole level of play, your leadership, all that up a notch. North Bullet was not a close game last season, and McKee hopes for more of the same on Friday night. I hope we crush them. I hope we get 15 games and have 15 running clocks and go 15 and 0 and get you a state championship ring, Oaksy 72 on the bottom, blinging it, and we're fired up. 
And we're gonna have Scott County Schools night this Friday. We're letting every student in Scott County Schools in for free. free. Yeah. K through 12. If you're a student in a Scott County school, you're in for free. And hopefully we're gonna have a great crowd. And you know, Hall I've of Fame all, night. Hall of Fame night. I mean, uh, Tony Wise was a multi-sport guy here. He kicked, Tony Wise kicked on, did you know Tony Wise kicked Played on the soccer, Georgetown kicked. College 1990 National Championship football team? Did not know that. I'll probably find that out on Friday night. Yeah, and uh, Stacy McIntyre is a little bit before my time. Uh, but Coach Cribs coached her in softball. I know how good she was in softball. I know she played basketball. And I believe she's a Division I basketball coach. At, is she USC? Yes. I, I think. Right. It's out west. Yeah. yeah and uh, and then the, the super fans. I mean, Daryl. And, and I mean, Daryl's seen more games than Bart's and Josh. I mean, so I'm really looking forward to that. And, of course, you know, Bart's is fired up. He's uh, And Josh Scott is going to be wearing a tux and has a limo. He's coming in a limo. Red carpet. So it's Hall of Fame night, and, and you know, it's the first night for the band, and the cheer, and the dance, and we're letting all the students in for free. So it should be awesome. All right, that was Coach McKee looking forward to uh, another season with him as uh, he expects nothing less, as you heard him say, than a 15 and 0 state championship uh, type season. Uh, I believe it's 10 years in a row with double digit wins, so uh, the, 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 the bar is set high no matter what class Scott County's playing in. Team, two guys that won't be around for the drop to 5A next year, but who are focused on getting to Kroger Field for that 6A final are Brian Hudson and Glenn Covington. Hudson, of course, has committed to Virginia Tech to play both football and throw in track, while Glenn Covington, uh, what can you say? He's a playmaker and every, he scored touchdowns on offense, defense, and special teams last year. Ran the ball a couple of times for touchdowns, caught the ball. Uh, interceptions, fumble recoveries, he does it all. Let's see what Brian Hudson and Glenn Covington had to say. The Central game was a first time game situation for many Scott County starters. Oh yeah, we, uh, you know, just got a lot of stuff to clean up. Um, you know, we were very sloppy, you know, discipline and everything like that wasn't where we wanted it to be. We're still not where we want it to be, but you know, it's coming along. We had a real good practice today, yesterday, so. Uh, it was definitely something we needed just to get the younger guys some experience on the field and uh, you know, kind of show them what's going on. Pretty typical uh, preseason scrimmage. Um, I feel like our defense didn't do as well as we thought we was going to do. Um, you know, I'm banged up a little bit, but I'll be all right. And uh, the DBs just didn't do their job. And basically, Coach Monty has emphasized to us that we have to play aggressive and more hard and give it everything we got every play. And, um, Read, read our keys and everything. So it's on us this week. Preseason has been a slow but steady process for the Cards. You know, with a few new guys on the O line, you know, the quarter, uh, new guy quarterback, you know, he's he's doing really well. Uh, but you know, just him being new, kind of, you know, you know, you got to de develop that chemistry with him and the new backs and everything like that, timing up the plays and everything. So things have been a little bit slower, but they're coming along. Senior year brings a different feeling for four-year starters Hudson and Covington. Well, I mean, it's, it's definitely a different feeling coming out on the field every day. Uh, you know, just knowing it's your last, last year, you know, uh, you're the, the top guy on the team now, or the top class on the team, and you just feel like, you know, you, you, gotta, you have to take leadership over everybody, the young guys especially, you know, set the tone for everything, so it's definitely a different feeling. I give everything I possibly got on this field, and, uh, and all, all the seniors do the same thing, and that's what we try to do. And uh, I just I just know if we come together, especially on defense, I know we can be one of the best defenses in Scott County that we ever had. Eight starters are back on the defense, and Covington is one of the key returning pieces on offense. We just, we just got to get the young guys up to speed and uh, let everything click and get all the timing right on everything. And, you know, it's all mental, so we just got to get, when, when the guys is tired, they got to push through it, and that's what we try to do. The players don't expect North Bullet to be a pushover this season. Yeah, that's, I mean, for, for us seniors especially, we try to take every game like it's our last. We, that's what we try to emphasize on, and uh, I just feel like we'll go out there like it's just another team and do what we have to do to win. Now they have some experience against us, so you know they're going to be a little bit better there. And plus, uh, they have some, you know, 
a uh, little bit of some older guys. They've they've got a little bit of experience to them, so I, I looked for it to be a little better game. Back-to-back -back trips to the state semifinals have the cards motivated for 2018. And we just got to finish. You know, we got to the semifinals and we didn't finish. We didn't do what we were supposed to do. And you know, this year it's all about from the start to the finish. I believe in all the guys on the team. Uh, I know that they we believe in each other. So uh, you know, I think we have the players to do it, and I think it's definitely a possibility for us.